what's up y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl yana samari and i'm back again with another banger so today y'all gonna follow me again today we're doing another vlog i have a few things i need to do today i need to go get my fourth shirt and if you don't know i've been telling you guys about this t-shirt company that i'm getting ready to release into the world and we had a um we had four shirts but three of them came out great but that fourth one we didn't really like the color so we sent it back to the lab we had them change the color of the shirt change a few things on the shirt and now i'm going to pick it up today because it is ready and i like them because they work fast they're very efficient because i think i just me and him just talked like yesterday or day before yesterday and the shirt is already ready uh oh my hair is all caught um the shirt is already ready i want y'all to check my fit okay because this is something new i was trying something new and this is what i want to show y'all um, okay so check the fit okay this is giving me like real like 90s like don't go chasing waterfall like this is giving me that like big bubbly uh jumper i got this jumper from my sister my um dance sister she was starting a um fashion line i think but i don't know what happened to it but this is where i got it from and so i need her to sell some more clothes so she can give me some more stuff okay i do want to say this though this morning i kind of woke up on the wrong side of the bed i know why i take full responsibility for why i woke up in the way that i did but when i woke up i just felt very uh kind of like defeated disappointed you know and that goes to show that every day isn't going to be a good day every day you're not going to wake up like chipper ready to conquer the world um but it's what you do after that or with that that really helps helps so when you get up and you're you're like oh i just don't feel right I, I don't know i can't even put my words into emotions um i can't even put my emotions into words rather what you should do is you should pray first of course and then you need to really journal i don't know if you are familiar with journaling or if you journal on the regular or not it doesn't matter if you wake up and you are on the wrong side of the bed that is the day that you really need to journal because there's something that may have happened in your sleep that you're unaware of or you know you know because when you're sleeping you're more prone to attacks, to spiritual attacks, to a lot of things, you know, because you're resting. And sometimes you're resting physically, but your mind is still wandering. So you wake up and you're so tired. And you're like, why am I so tired? Because you were fighting for your life and your sleep, you know, whether you remember your dream or not. So it's always good to journal because when you're journaling, you're giving your mind and your body time to catch up, right? And your mind is able to... Uh -uh. Sorry, I was doing content. <laughs> and your mind is able to catch up with your body and your mind will articulate exactly what you're feeling, whether you can say it out of your mouth or not. Sometimes you can't say it out of your mouth, sometimes you shouldn't. And you know, you're able to journal all of those things. And whether it's two pages, one paragraph or four pages, you're getting it all out. And once you journal, I promise you, you'll feel so much better you'll feel so much better journal and listen to like something uplifting whether it's a podcast or a song or you know just a motivational speech i like motivational speeches like you know the compilations of the motivational speeches i like that i also like to listen to i have a playlist like an encouragement playlist and a shower playlist um all centered around like songs that's going to uplift my spirit so i put that in there as well so yeah if you ever wake up on the wrong side of the bed, make sure you pray, journal, recite some Bible verses to yourself. I have three of them that I can give you. One is 2 um, Corinthians 10 and 4. I like that one. And then um, John 16, 33. I talk about that a lot on my channel. And also my favorite favorite, my all time, my OG, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. And if you have some Bible verses that you know you lean towards, drop them in the comments to help somebody else out because we all need help. There's so much going on in this world, child. If you wake up not feeling it, it's okay. Okay? You're not going to feel it every day because everything that's going on in the world, people are dropping like flies. We have health issues going on. Inflation is going crazy. Money running out. It's a lot going on. So just because you didn't wake up on the right side of the bed doesn't mean you need to really get hard on yourself. It's going to be okay. God knows he put us in this ragged world. You know, he knows it's really ain't all that. He never intended for the world to get this bad but of course people corrupt things we ain't gonna go there that's a whole nother subject but yeah god knows what was going on even jesus was down here like lord have mercy do i have to do this like do i have to be down here in the mix with these ghetto helpers like do i have to do this you know like if your will let your will be done regardless but god if it lives there's any way okay that i don't have to deal with this baby please save me so if jesus who was the all perfect person you know he didn't make any mistakes. He didn't sin at all. If his behind was struggling, asking, God, take me from this ghetto place, what do you think you're going to do? Okay? God sent him to save us from feeling bad and feeling like 
from, from just being from so much condemnation. He saved us from all that. He gave us grace because he knew Jesus had to endure it. And even Jesus was like, listen, okay? So give yourself grace. Every day ain't going to be, every day is not going to start off as a good day. But it's up to you to control the narrative of the day by controlling your emotions. And you have to control your emotions by putting things in place to help you control your emotions. So yeah, let's go get these t-shirts, child. I feel better now, if you're wondering. <laughs> Tired as your granddaddy balls out here. Y'all, I done forgot to pay my rent. I don't, I have the money, it's sitting in my car. I was supposed to bend them, take, take the, I was supposed to bend take this to the people. They probably like this little heifer. I'm telling y'all I got the money, I'm so sorry. I don't know what, I don't know. I got to make sure it's still in here. Baby, y'all would have seen a grown woman cry on camera, on camera. So I'm about to go pay my rent and then I'm going to go get pick up these t-shirts and then I'm going on a lunch date with a family member that I have not seen in a long time. Okay, I have not hung out with in a very, very long time. So, you know, if you are familiar with my channel, you know, we I have a special type of family and um, we're working through our issues. Oh, I need gas too. Lord, I got a lot going on. Thank you. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah. I need to pay my rent. I forgot. No problem. <laughs> Let me see. What's your permanent? How's everything going? It's going good. Everything's going good now. Yep, you're all set. I'm all set. Thank you so much. No, I'm okay. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Take care, you too. I remember the first time I moved in here and the first time I paid my rent, it was his first day. Look at him, thriving. I love that for him. All right, now I need to go get some gas or we gonna be on the side of the road and I can't push. So I'm about to go get some gas and then once I get some gas, we're heading to the south side of Jacksonville. Let me put my seatbelt on. We're heading to the south side of Jacksonville. Ooh, that burnt me. Lord Jesus. We're heading to the south side of Jacksonville and I'm gonna get that t-shirt. I'm also probably gonna get me a honey dripper today. So I need to call my brother. I got this dude that I call my brother. He's not really my brother. I don't have a brother. I wish I did. But um, I'm about to see if he want one too because he be. So I want a honey dripper too, y'all know like. Da -da -da -da. I'm gonna be a blessing today. I'm gonna get you one, okay? I'm gonna get you one. If you're watching this, I got you one, okay? Yeah. Baby, it's hot out there though. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Um, hello, it's so hot outside. You like the setup? I appreciate it. You know, real simple. <laughs> they need to do a hands free um, gas thing where I don't even have to touch the gas, or they need to do a gas attendant. How y'all feel about that? Y'all pull up to a place and they pump up the gas for you? You give them the like Chick Fil A. You give them the money. Hey, Miss Williams. Hey, they take it to the thing. They pay for your gas. They come back. They pump it. And you don't ever have to leave your car. A drive-through gas station. That's what we need right there. And hey, I said it first. Don't tell me. It was my idea. It was my idea, not yours. All right, so it was raining so bad, so I left my camera right in the car because I was like, baby, one thing that's not gonna get wet is this camera. But I got my shirt, I'm gonna let y'all see it. Y'all ready? I'm so excited. Okay, hold on. Boom, it says, She is divine, be great on purpose. Okay, I freaking love this shirt. I'm gonna wear this shirt in my next video so y'all can really see it on a human body. But I love this shirt. It's cute, ain't it? Mm-hmm, child. Y'all better support. Y'all better, y'all best to support. So I done made it here. I'm about to go have lunch with my family member. I think I'm at, where I'm at? Junior Seafood Restaurant and Grill. I'm gonna tell y'all how good it is or how nasty it is. You know I'm gonna keep it a buck. So um, yeah, then after that, I'm gonna get my honey drippers and I'm taking it in for the night. I just got rained out. So yeah, let's go. Once you push one of them, you can sign at the bottom and I can print your ticket back up. Oh, okay. She said she's um she showed me all this stuff on TV. Oh yeah. 
Tilapia looks so good. I like it crispy. Yeah. That looks so good. You like a tilapia? I love it. Mm -hmm. nice she hair. like hers. Mm -hmm. I gotta try this hush puppy now. Oh, y'all, I'm at the gas station. I'm finna get me some gas, baby. I an eight. I'm good and full. The food's good. The man was really nice. So if you are in Jacksonville on Main Street, go to Junior Seafood. I think that's what it's called. He was really good. He was really nice. I'm getting some gas. My grandmama is about to get me some gas, y'all. My granny's getting me gas. Yeah. But. Nice conversation. That was good. I'm glad. Like I said, I'm glad I got a chance to see her. I really want my family to like get it together. All of us, you know, all of us. I want us to all be able because we used to do all kind of stuff like, you know, family vacations, family get-togethers, family dinners. You think we do that nowadays? No. Um. So if I have anything to do with it, my wish is for us all to be on one accord again. Um. And I'm just praying for the day that that happens and you know god is working so i feel like god is you know and we in our family we do know we do know the lord now we might be crazy back crazy but we know the lord okay so and we, and we believe him we, so i got my gas y'all now i'm about to head to my mom's house i'm really trying to kill some time because i really want a honey dripper like really bad so if you know she and she has one of those text numbers to where you can only text and you cannot call I'm kind of in my fitness about that. <laughs> Just a little bit because I really want one. Like, it's hot enough. So, I'm going to go to my mom's house. Kill about 30 minutes. If she don't respond within 30 minutes, then I'm just going to take it as I don't need no honey dribbles. And I'm going to go home and watch me a good old movie. I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying not to crash into this dumb fool. This is zoomed in too much. His back of his truck, he named his business Confederate Electric. He got a Confederate flag on the back. He's a country old white man with a long beard looking like Santa Claus. How disrespectful can you be to name your business Confederate Electric? I hope you don't fix nothing. One of the many things I cannot stand is a racist person. Because color does not matter. That is Our body itself, this is how you know people that are racist have, have no idea who God is. Because how in the world can you look at somebody and say, because you're a different color than me, I don't like you? Are you talking about colors? Are you talking about colors? Like, are you for real? What? We all have the same soul. We all have a soul. We all have a spirit. This is our body. It is made of dirt. Just because you're white doesn't mean your body was made of gold. It's still made of dirt. Okay, everybody's body was made from dirt. No matter the color. God just gave you color for flavor. And that should tell you a lot about black people. Okay. I'm in my feelings, y'all, because I'm trying to get in touch with my honey dripper lady. And this lady is dodging me. And I'm taking it very personally. I done text her. I done waited on her for an hour. Then, you don't want to know what made me mad? I get on Facebook. And I see she real chatty on Facebook. But you're not chatty in my inbox. And I got a problem with that. I'm trying to give you some money. Y'all, I seen this, and let me tell you something about white couples. I love them to death. But let me tell you what this white man said to his wife yesterday. He said, I don't give a raccoon kahoot. And I said, what the freak is that? She was like, she just looked at him and said, Ugh. So I, I equivalent, that might be equivalent to like black people saying, I don't give a damn. You know, that might be the same thing. Because the way she looked at him was just like, Ugh. you didn't have to go there. She was like, well, I'm not going to be picking you up off the floor. He was like, I don't give a damn. And I busted. <laughs> Oh, he, was drunk, he, <laughs> he he had Parkinson's, so when he when I came to the table, he was like, "I have Parkinson's, that's why I keep moving." And I started moving too. I said, "We both moving," and he bust out laughing. And I was like, "We both gonna be moving around." He's like, "It's okay, I move a lot too." <laughs> Sometimes stuff just fly out my mouth without I think. I was thinking like that could have been rude. He could have thought that was rude, but I was just trying to make him feel comfortable. Cause I mean, hey, it's okay. You don't have to be. Cause he was trying not to move, and I'm like, you don't have to try not to move. I'm just gonna move with you. We both moving. <laughs> <laughs> I would have laughed 
laughing. He bust out laughing. His wife was like, what? <laughs> I wasn't picking on him though. I wanted him to feel comfortable. Oh my and God. And after that, he was like, oh, thanks. I was like, you're welcome. It's okay. Like, I'm not judging you because you got to move. I felt like he told me, that's the first thing he said, soon as I say hello, he said, I have Parkinson's so I have to move. So that told me that people might judge him or look at him funny because he just always be moving, which is why he feels the need to explain himself. So I had to make him understand, I move just as much as you and it's going to be okay. As long as you don't judge me, I won't judge you. True. But he was cracking up because I said, <laughs> No, you did not do that. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, that probably was not good, but I did. Oh I did. <laughs> Talking all this noise, and she just responded. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> Somebody, I'm sorry for the delayed response. Are you? You had me about to have a heart attack. She said she's there now, so I'm about to get me peach, mango, strawberry. Da -da -da -da. I don't want to try. I said strawberry lemonade, right? Because yeah, I want to try the strawberry lemonade. I done made it to the honey dripper. I'm going to call her Mo because that's her name. That's her nickname. I made it to Mo house, which when I say Mo, y'all know I mean honey dripper lady. And y'all going to watch me say, as soon as she come out here, I'm going to say, girl, I thought we was beefing. I thought you was mad at me. Hey, Mo. Hey, girlie. Girl, I was like, oh, no, I what's happening? <laughs> I literally, the phone, this phone, it be dying. So I bad. figured, I was like, Lord, mama, I'm about to cry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you next time. All right. Ah, uh, y'all look at my honey dribbles. Ah! Uh! Y'all. Ah! Sorry if I just screamed in your ear, but ah! Hola! Look at this nigga. Y'all see this man? Oh, you vlogging? Y'all see this man? What's up? What you doing? Long work? No. Oh. Oh. Come get your bag. Pineapple. Oh, they kind of melt. I need to get home so I can put mine in the fridge. Um, watermelon. That watermelon look good. Watermelon. Y'all not been trying to make it home for about forever. My uncle called. Can you come over here and do something for me? Bruh. Bruh. Like, I'm tired. After this, I'm going home. So you ain't got to worry. You ain't got to worry about me no more. I got my honey drippers because they finna melt in the car. So I'm gonna go see what he need real quick. And after that, I'm going home. Let me see. Ugh. Let's see what he need. Say <laughs> cool here. Say cool. Damn, In my vlog, they can hear you. For real? Oh, you got the vlog on now? Yeah, say hey, they can hear you. Yo, what you say, man? It's your boy Abraham Kai. You know what I'm saying? How we doing? We looking out for the vlog I got coming up soon. Mm -hmm. Got a 2023 Charger SXT. How to upgrade the V6 Charger to make it run like a V8. Uh oh. We gonna be doing a lot of uh, we gonna be doing a lot of modifications. So we looking out. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy. All right, so. He said, what's up? I'm like, he go, everywhere you go, you know somebody. This man knows somebody everywhere we go. Ciao. I don't, what I, what I told y'all. First of all, I went over there with four honey drippers. Ask me how many I got. Two, this fool done took two of my honey drippers. Let me get me one of me and my lady. Bump your lady, I don't know her. No, I'm for, I'm nice, but. I only have two honey drippers left, I'm mad. I knew something told me don't bring them honey drippers in there. But I said if I don't, they're gonna melt because I knew I was gonna be in there for a while, and which I was. And it was melting. And he said, some, I'm leaving, I'm trying to sneak them out, right? I got them out and I tried to like put them under my, so what that is? I said, you eat honey drippers? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I said you had a pineapple one because that's the one I didn't really want. And he said, let me get another one. I'm like, oh. oh wow. <laughs> Oh my God. 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 Oh my yeah, I'm really trying to get my hair like down. My hair goal is about right here. That's my hair goal. 
He be getting complimenting everybody. He just so nice. He's a ladies man. We gonna go again, so in September. Okay, I'll be there. Up, you know, I make everybody laugh. I'll sleep with you. Yeah. This man here. I take. I call it. I finally made it home. Okay, y'all seen that man. That man is a mess. But I love him. He is my favorite type of mess. Okay, so I'm finally home. I'm about to wind down. It is now, what time is it? Hold on. It's now 7.20. I'm about to wind down, find, find me a good movie, put it on, edit these YouTube videos, write me a little piece. I'm sorry, I just gotta admire. I look so pretty. Like, sometimes you gotta tell yourself, like, girl, you look good, or dude, you look good. Hype yourself up, be your own hype, man. I look good. I done came a long way with this makeup stuff, because baby, if I could show y'all a picture of who, what I was, and who I was, and back then, you'd have been like, Madea, what is that? Like, <laughs> Um, thank y'all for spending the day with me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get each and every video. But y'all know, I'm going to see y'all next time. Y'all know, Miss Russell, and I'm out.